joke there um but anyways we're seeing we're seeing the uh, conventional wall off go down from star eagle i will continue the bad jokes because i find humor in them and uh star eagle laying down that bunk uh, barracks right now on top of his ramp or land bridge and uh now biggs is starting to uh drone up and maybe we'll go for that early expansion i feel that he very well should just because of the long distance from each other he does not know about it yet but he is sending the uh he's sending that drone scout over into the first zone Naga Watchtower that is closest to uh, Star Eagle, and he's actually scouting the uh, long distance first because he's got his Overlord scouting the close air distance right here. So, uh, so yes, yes, we are seeing the action start to mount. The drone and the SCV phase right past each other. If you guys are not aware of phasing, it is where you move matter right through another, po uh, another uh, you know, thing of matter. You're throwing matter through matter here on StarCraft 2. That's what we do. Uh, we've got a spawning pool going down right now for Biggs, as well as his extractor finishing up. A little bit of late on throwing those drones on that extractor, but we'll forgive him for now. We do see this natural expansion on the way and in full swing as it starts to mutate and starts to morph and grow. And, uh... And yeah, so Biggs now has his drone continuing to move around. We'll see that the Tech Lab and the original opener from Star Eagle as he is getting that uh, Reaper out. He knows that there is a long distance on a, on Terminus SE. So with that long distance, he's going to try to try to scout a little bit easier and a little bit more efficiently and possibly even do some damage by using this Reaper. And uh, one thing about this map is the fact that there is this uh, there is this ledge that is in the uh, in the corner of your base leading out for easy access to reapers to jump up into your base as well as to uh, leave their own base there now this is a i just bring up this area because you want to keep that in mind it's very easy to get elevated right there it's very easy to get elevated from this chasm as well but it's a lot better to do it right here so always keep an eye on the external areas where your uh, where your opponent can be able to jump up your cliff um, now we are seeing the same opener here, a factory going down right now for Star Eagle, but he is going for that expansion a little bit sooner than he went for the last expansion now, and uh, it looks like a tech lab actually going down on the barracks, so we may not see that Hellion opener from Star Eagle. Looks like he is starting to change up his play just a little bit. A couple of Zerglings out now from Biggs as Biggs starts to amount the Zergling count. This Reaper is in the base and does see that Biggs has the expansion, and Star Eagle is aware of what's going on and uh, will be able to move this Reaper around and micro it to see what he can do. Let's see, this Reaper has currently one kill, so it's kind of almost paid off for itself. It's paid off for itself in the ways of uh, in the ways of scouting, however. Now, uh, Star Eagle throwing down the tech lab on both the factory and the barracks. We are seeing the barracks now producing a bunch of those rinds as well as getting a uh, as well as getting the bunker out right now. And we do have that. Oh my God! The oh, dude! I thought we were gonna see those Zerglings get right up past those. Uh, up the ramp that we very well may see it he's not lifting up these supply depots and those zerglings are not going into the ramp they're going to deal with that scv take down that scv and hold that expansion as it is at like 98 percent and uh these zerglings being the pesty pests that they are will uh go ahead and be taken out from the fusion cutter of that scv more and more Zerglings pumping across the map as Metabolic Speed Boost has finished. We do see also the uh, also the Pre-Igniter on the way out for the Hellions and a Starport going down. So the 1-1-1 build with early expansion from Star Eagle. It'll be interesting to see what he decides to actually go for. He needs to keep his ramp in his mind. He needs to make sure to keep that ramp closed. If those Zerglings get up and see that this uh, that the Starport is on the way or that it's built or whatever have you, then, uh, then you know, Biggs is going to know about it and Biggs is going to going to do whatever he can to fight against it. Now he's going for the lair already. Great timing on getting that lair down and getting his third lower expansion. That will help him against the aerial assault that may be coming in from Star Eagle. We very well, oh, look at this. We got a Viking on the way out as the first unit from Star Eagle as he continues to amass this force of Hellions and Marines. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a, uh, take a little breath of fresh hookah air. All right. Well, looking at it, we do have three Zerglings now working on these destructible rocks right here. These Zerglings will 
try to take down those rocks. It will take 38 years and five months for that for those rocks to actually go down due to that many Zerglings. Uh, we are seeing the Hellions now push around. They did take out one of the Zerglings that was on the way over there. I like the Overlord spread. We do have Overlords back behind the behind the lower third as well as in the, next to Star Eagle's base. So he will be able to keep an eye on that. And look at this. This Viking checks out what's going on and we'll see these. We'll see those Zerglings and those Hellions will fry. We've got some Cajun Zergling lunch right here, right now, as more and more roaches are on their way out. We are seeing a Spire as well coming down from Biggs. Biggs is getting ready to go with that air tech as, uh, as these Hellions continue to push around, trying to find any loose units to try to take them out. This Overlord is as good as dead as this Viking does not like Overlords. I mean, just let's face it, Vikings hate Overlords. And, you know, when Vikings are out on the field, hunting season is open. Um... But in, on a more serious note, we do see that there is a dropship that is not loaded up with anything. It looks like we could see a great elevator play coming down from uh, Star Eagle as he does have these uh, four or five, uh, sorry, five Hellions sitting right out in front of the natural expansion. Some Roach is going to s deal with those Hellions as he was able to see them due to the creep. They will load up into this uh, medvac. This medvac moving forward will it not be seen by that and this elevator play will be successful ultimately they drop up right on that ledge that i was telling you about earlier guys keep an eye on that ledge keep a unit there at least i mean this won't happen if you have an eye on that ledge and look at this these drones are getting fried this is not good we're here for the barbecue star eagle what are you serving up it looks like he's serving up those drones because he takes out the whole line of drones i'm a little i'm a little unimpressed by Biggs right now by losing all of that all of those drones bringing him down to 33 when he was clearly ahead at about 50 on the three bases here so it's very unfortunate to see that type of play go down to see him lose that many drones and to see that uh, you know to see just to see that go down um now, uh, Mutilus are out on the field, and seven of them are pushing across the field right now, trying uh, trying to do some scouting and probably going to do some damage as well. There is still, uh, you know, we do, you know, also see that there are a couple more barracks down as I lose my train of thought. These three barracks are getting two reactor, three reactor cores all around. Reactor cores for everybody, as there is going to be a lot of... Mm, play going down. Um, we're going to see these Mutalists go in and push into that lower third, take out some of these SCVs. You know, Biggs knows he needs to limit the SCV count that is currently mounting for Star Eagle, and he exactly does that. Limiting that, that SCV count, bringing it to even standards here as we will see more and more of those SCVs come out of these command centers from Star Eagle trying to amass that, uh, amass that advantage. Um, Biggs may need to go for an expansion kind of soon. There looks like there was a, a little bit of a drop or maybe just moving that heli or that uh, that medevac back and forgetting about it earlier in the game. Now Biggs is trying to get more lings and uh, centrifugal hooks is on the way for those bane lings as well as level one flyer attack upgrade going down. Infestation pit is here. We're going to see some fungal freaking growth. I know how much you guys love fungal growth. All you non-Zerg players, well, all you Zerg players too. You may love fungal growth, but you hate it at the same time because I know I do. I hate getting a, you know, getting hit with a good fungal growth. It does definitely Hurt. Now we are seeing these mutilists try to poke in. There are a couple Thors here. The answer to air, the answer to Zerg air is Thor, as those Thors are going down. Holy crap, we've got a ninja expansion going down from Biggs. He's not going for the safe third. He's going right for that ninja. And it's in the uh, it's in the three o'clock position or spawning position of Terminus Re, so it's very close to Star Eagle. But uh, he you know I think uh, I think that Biggs just, you know, thinks, oh, he's not going to scout there. It doesn't really matter. Whatever. As long as he takes out the Vikings and continues the map awareness, and the map awareness is in Biggs' favor right now. If we take a look at his vision, we do see all of these Zelnaga watchtowers being held by those Zerglings, and uh, these SCVs and everything that gets uh, sent out of the base to scout from Star Eagle is being dealt with. So a little bit of a contain going on, or trying to contain, is what Biggs seems to be doing, and with getting that, uh, with getting that expansion down, he will try try to pull that advantage in the economy. Speaking of, let's take a look at that economy. They are about even right now with uh, with Biggs currently sitting on 50 or uh, currently sitting on 66 excuse me, 66 drones compared to the 57 drone or SCVs that are out for Star Eagle. There's still that one reaper that is alive and hanging out with the group chilling. 
uh, with his double pistol ears. We also see these uh, Mutalists going in right now into the Star Eagles base. He is caught with his pants down and out of position, but there are Marines here to uh, to take up that position and, and thwart off that Mutalist play. Um, we are also, uh, let's take a look at what Biggs has got going on in his base. Pathogen Glance has finished up. Burrow is on the way as well. So these Infestors will have extra energy and will be able to burrow and move while they're burrowed because you don't need any extra upgrades for that. And uh, we are seeing a level 1 Flyer attack upgrade finished up for the Mutalist, for Biggs, as well as level 1 Carapace Armor or Carapace upgrade is done for the ground units here for Biggs. Now taking a look at the upgrades and the upgrade patterns that are going down for Star Eagle. He's got plus one, plus one on his armor and on his or on his attack for those bio or for the bio for the Marines. Plus one attack on the uh, on the Thors as well or on the vehicles, if you will. And it looks like we're going to see a drop play go down. Oh my God, guys! I'm going to whisper here because look at this freaking drop. It's going right over. He's scouting this expansion for the first time just as it gets finished. And holy crap! These 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 uh, mar that Marauder and these Marines are dropping down. They destroy that Queen. The Queen explodes all over the base. And the Biggs is going to lose his expansion here, sending out all his Zerglings and back with his drones, trying to take out these Marines. And look at this dropship is going to get taken out in mid-flight. In mid-flight, it is gone. Those Mutalists doing a great job. Great freaking defense by Biggs. He was able to take out all of that drop, all of those Marines, and he was able to take out that drop before it even happened in his lower third. Great freaking map awareness and great freaking job by Biggs so far. I am very pumped to see what he's going to be able to do continuing on. Look at this. A freaking ninja expansion over here in the in the less mineral area of the uh, of the 9 o'clock lower third expansion. Holy crap, man. I mean, look at what Biggs is doing. He's expanding once again, and it looks like uh, Kalen won against Ivco 2-1. Brood Lords! The Brood Lords are here! All bow down to the Lord as he has arrived. And there are the Brood Lords coming out. Adre Adrenal Glands is on the way as well. We will have some crackling action as the Hive has finished up, of course. These Mutalists poking around. Map awareness being in Big's favor. Another drop coming in. We'll see this third we'll see this expansion. And will he drop on that expansion? Yes, the damage starts to mount on this hatchery. It does get cancelled instead of being defended. These Brood Lords move moving forward ever slowly getting right up in there right up in the face of those tanks those tanks getting some friendly fire being taken out quite fast Oh man, we're seeing Biggs with plus one melee attack upgrade. Crackling research just about finished up here as well. These Broodlords doing some heavy damage and we're going in right now. That drop over here on the right, left hand side of the map is being dealt with by the Mutalists. That's why you don't see the Mutalists out here doing some damage as well. These great, great attacks going down by Biggs. Sending his Zerglings and Banelings back and forth. Why did I click on that? Misclick as we get some fungal growth going down on those Marines. And uh, wow, I never expected that to happen. They're getting a little bit of slowing down the game because I accidentally hit the menu button. Um, but anyways, these Broodlords <laughs> doing some great, great damage here and uh, taking out tank after tank, Marine after Marine, Thor after freaking Thor. I'd say Biggs has the stranglehold on, stranglehold on this game. His economy is looking in the plus as well as he's gaining about 1,700 per minute compared to the... Uh, compared to only 1,000 that's out for Star Eagle. Some fungal growth going down on these tanks. More Banelings, more Zerglings going in. These Mutalists going right over the top of the Thor, backing off now, trying to take down those Vikes because those Vikings are bad news for the Broodlords. Oh my god, great defense by Star Eagle. I cannot believe the play I am seeing right now. This is amazing. It is amazing. Oh, you're back. Welcome back. I hope dinner was good. It was. I'm sorry you had to solo cast for so long. But wow, man, that engagement in the middle really showed no signs of either side pulling down from that. That's right. Um, I'm even surprised he has a hatchery all the way across the map. So, you know, and he was uh, uh, he was actually building another hatchery over here, but all these drops that Star Eagle keeps on throwing down are doing, uh, are do you know, he was able to drop it down right on that expansion and do a great job at it. And uh, look at this oversaturation. Holy damn! That is a lot of mules. There are eight mules out on the field right now in this one expansion because that is pretty much all there is left. That is all she wrote as minerals are, are dwindling down here and the economy is dwindling down for uh, Star 